Hey, All right. for calculus, 2.8 notes, example two, solve two, blah, 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 analytically. What does analytically mm, mean? Analytically, I think that means you, um, uh, you drive you, to the, you don't use your graphing calculator. Not graphically is what we're talking about when we do something analytically. So if we're not doing this analytically, ooh, I don't think that this is factor. Factor by grouping. We can't factor by grouping. Factor by slide dividing. We cannot factor. We can't factor. Rational zeros. Rational zeros theorem. Okay, so remember we use these two numbers. We're saying the factors of 24. Which there are several. Keep going, keep going. Three, keep going, keep going. Yep, yep, keep going. Yep, six, yeah, then eight, yeah, then 12, 12, and then finally 24. There's those guys. Over. Oof. I'm getting a hand, I'm, my hand's hurting right now. You're just not doing one. anything. Oh. Plus, oh, over, plus or minus one, plus or minus two. Now, so, fortunately, you'll have all of these numbers on top over one, all of these numbers on top over two, so you're really just gonna have these top numbers and a few fractions like and not even very many plus fractions. or minus one half, right? Plus or minus three halves, right? And that's actually and it. That's it. All Everything the rest of them will cancel into things that are already on the top here. That is correct. So, what the best case scenario is, we pick something and hope that we can maybe see a lower or upper bound. Right. So. So. How I, about how about we pick something kind of in the middle? -ish. That's that's a great plan. So I'm going to pick six and okay. do synthetic division. So we're going to check six and see if it works. And basically, if we don't get a zero, we know we can't use six. But we also can tell when we get done with synthetic division. If it is or is not. If it is or is not an upper bound. and Or maybe uh, lower bound. Or maybe a lower bound. So it can't be a lower bound. It's not negative. Got to have less than, got to have less than zero. But we can tell if it's an upper bound. And... I'm thinking upper bound. So, so there, there are no zeros that are bigger than six. Bigger than six. That means we can eliminate eight, twelve, and twenty-four. Hey, that's awesome. Now Fan let's let's try. Fantabulous, maybe. Four. You try okay, four? yeah. Squeeze in one one time. We'll try four and see what we get. Uh, and if we don't get it here, I mean, that's. Uh, then we squeeze in again because yeah, we, we should get a bound. Going. So bring down the old two. Multiply and add, people. Multiply and add. Just kidding. Sorry. Just kidding. I feel, that was I feel a negative like, ten. I feel like that should be a negative sixer. Yeah, it should. And pick your pencil. Yeah. There we go. All right. Yep. 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 Okay. Mm. High five. Yeah. Woo. Okay. So right. we knew that six was an upper bound because all of these were positive. So we tried something lower like four. Also, you could have eliminated one as a possibility pretty easily here by just plugging in a one and seeing, okay, is that going to equal zero? Right, and it doesn't. Yeah, so uh, now we have 2x squared plus x minus six. We can now factor a lot of different ways, either by slide factoring, divide slide divide, box, box quadratic formula. Right. You, got, you take your pick, you, you do what you feel necessary. So, Looks like Miss Stevenson's going with the old attacking slide and divide style. So what multiplies get negative 12, that will basically end up subtracting to get us 1, and then divide by what we slid by. And so at this point, um, like whenever you work this out, we would get what, x plus 2? x plus 2, x minus 3 halves. Yeah, we could leave it as x minus 3 halves, or we could write it as 2x minus 3. But 3 halves is technically what That's we need. That's the zero, So right. that, that is what our zero right. is. Right, so we had, don't ever forget about this one over here we found. We had 4, uh, negative 2, and positive 3 halves as our zeros. 4, negative 2, positive 3 halves. So now what we're, we're going to do chart. is make our sign chart. And what you want is you actually want the linear factor to make your sign chart. So, so we X, would kind of need everything that this factor down to. X minus 4 yep, because X, it's a 0 at 4. Right. X plus 2 because it's going to be a 0 at negative 2. And, and X minus 3 halves. Now, I know some of you are getting sweaty seeing the fraction there. It'll be all uh, right. It's, it's all good. We don't need an exact number. We, we just need... A, a positive or negative value. Like, what is this? Wow. What <laughs> happened on that? <laughs> it was, it was, <laughs> had a wiggle in its jiggle. <clears throat> so, 
uh, go ahead and list and, and list your zeros from, from most smallest negative. to yeah, most <laughs> negative to most not negative uh, or positive. Ex excellent idea. Oh, these are that's not no. Uh, four negative two. Negative two. Three positive halves. three halves. Positive four. Positive four. Fabulous. Okay. Okay. So then let's pick numbers to plug in. So like a negative three. Negative three. Here we could have a zero. Yeah. Here we could have uh, we have to have two or three. So right. two would work, and you, then five. And and where we've got negative three, zero, two, and five, you could pick any number. It just needs to be in that interval. Yeah. Be careful with the fractions. Yeah. So make sure you actually pick something between the, yes, the fraction attention. and the other number. Yes. Pay attention. If I plug in negative three, that's a negative. Negative number. Negative three, that's a negative. Negative number. Negative three. Oh, that's negative. a negative. Yep. So then zero, that's it's a negative. negative there. Positive, positive, and a negative. Negative. I didn't put these in in order. That's okay. That's though. okay. Though. That's okay. Yeah. Then two. That's negative, positive. Two minus three halves. So three halves is one point five. So two minus positive. one point five is positive. Five would give us positive, positive, positive. All right, and then think about it this way: negative times a negative times a negative times a negative would give us overall a negative. Yep. Negative times a positive times a negative. Gives negative. Us a positive. Yes, that's what I said. A negative positive, which is always a false positive negative, which is positive. Negative positive positive is negative. Positive positive and positive. And super pluses. What it asks us for is greater than zero, which means that uh, it's not equal to at zero. We're looking for the strictly positive entries. Positive only. So that's this right here and this right here. So let's write that in interval notation. This first interval where it's positive is negative, negative two to, to three, three halves. halves. Yep. Together with uh, four, four to, to infinity. infinity. Ooh. Man, my my hand.